Hello guys, this is Doron's Movies and today I will be bringing you the lore of the Kiraji. For the first part of this series, so I'll be giving you the lore and the origin of the initial race known as the Akir and I will also cover one of the factions that split off known as the Kiraji. So, without further ado, let's get into the lore. The Akir are currently one of the most confusing races when it comes to their origin. Their initial story revolved around Katoon and him corrupting and infusing a native stilated race, turning them into the Akir who were his servants. However, that is heavily contradictory today as we have a group of Akir known as the Manted who worship Yasharaj and Pandaria and to add to this entire thing, Harbinger Skyris Akiraji can be found in Outland in the Arcatraz dungeon. Now this is not really confusing as Arcatraz is a prison where the Naru have captured evil from all over the universe, so they have most likely visited Azeroth at some point. However, during the battle, Skyris says we span the universe as countless as the stars. This could be a hint that they, just like the old gods and the faceless ones, are not actually native to Azeroth and could probably be found all over the universe. So, by the newest lore, the Akir are said to be some kind of a proto-insectoid humanoid race that serve the old gods. They were a part of an ancient power known as the Black Empire that ruled over Azeroth before the Titans arrived, along with the Elementals, the Faceless Ones and the Old Gods. Eventually, the Black Empire fell, but somehow the Akir managed to not get captured like the Old Gods and the rest of their servants, and they formed an empire known as Azyakir. The exact location of it is unknown as Azeroth at the time was just one continent, but it is hinted that it could have stretched as far as the lands that would later be known as Quotalas. As powerful as the Akiri were, they weren't the only empire as soon enough the troll empires the Gurubashi and the Amani united and started a war. This was one of the longest wars, if not the longest one, on the world of Azeroth as it lasted for thousands of years and it was almost always a tie and neither side was really winning. Eventually, due to the persistence of the trolls, Aziakir was finally shattered and forced to split into separate colonies. One group went north known as the Nerubians, one group went far south known as the Mantid and one group settled in the southern and western desert known as the Kiraji. As this is a series on the Akir, in this video I will only go over the Kiraji and in the next two parts I will cover the Nerubians and the Mantid. The Kiraji, after their empire fell, traveled south to the desert region. There, with the power they had at the time, they managed to overthrow a smaller titan research station near Oldham. However, as Oldham was cloaked as an entire zone, they never really managed to reach it. The Tolvir, who are titan creations that were protecting it, fell and were enslaved by the Kiraji. This titan station was then turned into this extensive hive and was renamed into Ankiraj to match their new name, the Kiraji. However, the station was not just used for research as it actually had a secondary purpose of serving as a prison of the fallen old god, Katoon. This was perfect for them as once as the Akir, they served and worshipped the old gods, so now they in a way managed to get back to their roots. The former titan prison turned into a seat of power and worship and the Kiraji have spent the next thousands of years building and amassing an army capable of taking over the world. After many years, approximately 1000 before the first war, the Kiraji launched an assault. The night elves that were currently in Silithus stood in their way, but the offensive was so overwhelming that the Kiraji engulfed the whole of Silithus. The night elves fell back and had to retreat all the way back to Teneris and had to desperately ask for the help of the bronze dragonflight. Initially, they refused, but as soon as the Kiraji pushed and struck the caverns of time, the bronze dragons agreed to join. Now with three group night elven forces and the bronze dragonflight at their side, they started a campaign to retake Silithus, but even that proved to be futile as the numbers of the Kiraji were just so vast. 
So Anachronos, the heir of Nostromu, invited the other dragonflies. This time they were doing so much better, but the numbers of the Kirashi were just never ending and for every 50 they killed, a hundred new showed up. So Fendral, the archdroid and the dragons devised a plan to stop the invasion and form a barrier and in a way trap the attacker within their kingdom. They were successful and an impenetrable wall was erected that not even the flying forces could break through. The war ended and the invasion was stopped, but only temporarily as the Kiraji forces still remained. Fandral, not consolidated by the victory due to the loss of his son, broke the scepter, which was the key to the gates of Ankiraj, hoping to end the threat for all eternity. However, there was not the end of this menace in the slightest. The Kiraji were captured for the next thousand years, but recently Katun, who was the center of Ankiraj, slowly began to awake and empower the Kiraji legions. Soon enough they managed to find a way past the wall, which forced the Horde and the Alliance to form a campaign against him. The parts of the scattered scepter had to be recovered and many preparations were made before the gates of Ankiraj were opened again. Eventually the Kiraji forces swarmed and were defeated and the adventurers ventured inside the heart of Ankiraj, defeating the old god Katun. He was never confirmed to have died and we are not sure if the old gods can truly die, at least by immortal hands, so the Kiraji and Kantun, even though defeated, still remain as a threat. Alright, that is all I have for this video, now the next two parts will be on the Nerubians and the Manted and should be out pretty soon. Do leave your feedback and don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel already as it really helps out and keeps all the videos going and thanks a lot for taking the time out of the day to watch this video and see you next time.